All right, y'all. We're back for the Belmont now. Um, I don't want to make this, this about the Preakness, but they seriously got to do something about that. Much better lineup here in the Belmont, even though we don't have a Derby winner Mage. Uh, but that Preakness was really weak. A lot of these horses should have been there. They need to bring back the Triple Crown Challenge. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll offer my own prize. I don't know. Maybe I'll offer them twenty bucks or something next next year, uh, just to the winner of the Triple Crown Point Challenge. Uh, maybe we do a GoFundMe or we can all get together as a community. Make it happen. Make these races better than what they should be. But the people in Maryland should just step it up. If I were them, what they need to make the Preakness do, make it pay more than the Derby. Bang! Bang! Millions of dollars right there. Ten million dollar idea. Easily. All right. Make the Preakness pay more than the Derby. All right. But anyway, let's get into this Belmont Stakes here. Um... Oddly enough, there's a lot of repetition here. Six Tappet bred horses here. Uh, grandchildren of Tappet, one of Tappet's sons in here. Uh, and three of these horses um, trained by Brad Cox. So, I mean, Brad Cox really coming of age there. He's got more horses than Pletcher and, uh, and uh, uh, Baffert. Um, he's got the same as Pletcher and Baffert combined. So, uh, Brad Cox stepping up in the world of... Um, of uh, the, the, the trainers. I gotta give them credit for that. Um, here we go, million and a half, uh, 702 Pacific, or sorry, uh, Eastern um, Daylight Time. Number one, Tappet Shoes. Uh, 20 to 1 in the morning odds on this one. Jose Ortiz riding one of the Brad Cox horses here, one of the Tappet horses here, uh, Mother's Father's Flower Alley. Breeding, I guess, considering there's all these Tappet horses in here. Um, Nine horses, six of them tavern horses. It's you really got to look at the rest of the breeding to go with it. Um, so this one, I guess, with Flower Alley, a little bit on the lower side. Uh, horse was six in this bathhouse, bro. Um, or sorry, second, second by head in the bathhouse row. Um, that was up against um, the other horse in here that. Um, Win in that uh, right about one uh, got the win in that race. Uh, so he was second in that race. Guess they would have figured they'd give him, give him a shot here. Third in an optional claimer at fairgrounds before that. Not much to speak about in this horse, but uh, hey, um, they got him in there. Um, got a, a competent jockey. Uh, I think he's a step slow for these horses. Number two, Tappet Trice, uh, three to one. This horse was the winner of the Bluegrass, the uh, Tampa Bay. Uh, Couple wins covered uh, before that, so four wins going to the Derby. He finished seventh in that race. Um, I didn't think he had the speed to win that one. He didn't. Um, we'll see. He was seventh. Uh, I don't know if he's really going to have enough in this one. I do think him. Mean, he's another tappet horse. He, he 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 should have enough gas to make it through with a decent amount of speed. At the end, I don't think he'll collapse. Um, Luis Saez riding this one. Um, he did win the Belmont. For uh, Sai has got a win. Um, how could I forget? Central quality. Central quality. Uh, yeah, Brad Cox horse. Uh, a couple years back. Uh, yeah, Sai's got that win in the Belmont with Central quality. So he's back with another one here. This horse isn't nearly as good as the Central quality um, as far as that goes. Uh, they got a three to one. Uh, morning odds. I think that's a bit low. Um, I'd like it a bit higher. Not that he's that bad of a horse and he can't win if something happens. It's, I'm not really going to go with him to win. Um, number three, interesting horse here, Archangelo. Um, Javier Castellano riding him, a derby winner, uh, not riding Mage, but he's got this interesting horse. Horse is out of Arrowgate. Um, one of the top earning Fastest horses. I think he's, he's got the record to Travers. I think, yeah. Uh, out of Unbridled Song. Now, his grandfather's Tappet. So, it's really good breeding you like out of this horse. You gotta like the jockey. Javier Castellano's been around a long time. He knows this park. He's been riding way back from when, um, you know, Jerry Bailey was riding. You know, um, Johnny Velasquez was riding back then. It seems like Johnny Velasquez has been riding for 50 years. But uh, Castellano's been around for a long time. He won some big races. He kind of disappeared. That happens sometimes. You make a lot of money when you take some time off. 
Uh, so he hasn't been as aggressive. He's back now, though, with the Kentucky Derby win. A lot of money in his pocket. He's going to start getting big mouth again. It's kind of the way it works uh, once you get back into rhythm. So Castellano's got this horse interesting mount. Um, he's won both times aboard this horse. Uh, broke the maiden. Also, um, he got a win in the Peter Pan. Now, there's uh, the, the Peter Pan uh, has produced some winners like Tonalist. I think Tappert might have been one. Uh, Peter Pan has produced horses that are, if not winners, competitive in the uh, Belmont Stakes. It's Belmont Prep Race, Mile and an Eighth. Um, so he's got the win there. You know, the, getting the win in the Peter Pan boosts the horse confidence. Um, so he's got that win coming into this one. Uh, comfortable with this jockey. They got him at 8 to 1 morning odds. I really don't know what that's going to do. Um, it could go up, it could go down um, because of all the big money that's going to be in this race and it is, a lot of it's probably going to be on uh, the favorite um, Forte. A lot of I'm sure is going to be on Angel of Empire. Uh, we'll see. Interesting horse. Um, number four, National Treasure, Preakness winner. Glad to see a pre the Preakness winner. But of course, that's Baffert. You know, Baffert, I mean, say what you want to about Baffert, but Baffert's a competitor. He wants to win. He puts some horses out there, puts them in a gate, tries to get the wins. Guys ducking races, and oh no, man, we'll skip this race, and we're not going to win the Triple Crown, so we're just not going to win. Bump that, man. All right. Baffert's got the Preakness Winter National Treasure out here. Johnny V back aboard. He knows how to win at this track. Uh, he's got, what was it, three wins um, for Johnny V, or two two wins from Johnny V, uh, Union Rags and Rags to Riches um, with Pletcher uh, in this race. Uh, so two wins for Johnny V. He, he, he knows how to win this one. Hasn't won it with Baffert, though. I think it's going to be tough for him in this one. I mean, after coming off the previous horse, was fourth in Santa Anita. Uh, the previous win came off of a very stupidly slow pace. I really thought he was going to go faster. I thought he was going to need to go faster. And I think a lesser jockey trying to go that slow probably would have not rated the horse properly for a win. But it's Johnny V. Um, so... Uh, I don't think that's going to happen this time. It's a mile and a half. I mean, the pace tends to be much slower in this race it's in, 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 um, unless somebody goes for it. I do think it's going to be a little bit faster this time, though. Um, for one, it's Baffert's the trainer, and the other one um, on this five, Il Miracolo, uh, Marquez, uh, Marquez Meneses, 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 Meneses. Uh, Meneses. Let's go with Meneses. Marcos Meneses. Younger jockeys, less experienced, on a front runner, probably going to go faster than he should be. I mean, that's just count it up. 80, 90% of the time it's going to happen. All right. So, not to get into the five too fast there, but that's National Treasure. We know about him. Um, He's been around for a while, third in the Sham, third in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, behind Forte. Uh, Going to be near the front, if not on the front. I don't have him in the front all the way. I think uh, Five Year Morocco is going to get there first. So um, that's National Treasure. Uh, if he gets rated well, you know, he could hang on for a win. Number Five Year Morocco. Uh, this one's a gun runner horse. Uh, by the way, that National Treasure, I didn't get into the breeding. Quality Road, the elusive, elusive quality horse, makes him the brother of Smarty Jones. If you remember, Smarty Jones did not win the Belmont. A lot of people hold that against the horse. I hold it against the jockey. I think he easily could have gotten the win, but with a stupid ride like that, uh, lost to a Birdstone. Um, I don't hold that breeding too much against him, but he doesn't have too much going. I mean, I mean, Diodoro, I mean, it's, it's a mile and a quarter horse, but... Um, that mile and a half distance might be a bit much for him. Number five, Il Miracolo, as I was saying, gun runner horse. Uh, Tappet is his grandfather on his mother's side as well. Um, horse is coming off an optional claim or win at Gulfstream Park. Sixth in the Florida Derby. Sixth in the Fountain of Youth. Fifth in the Holy Bowl. Seventh in the Mucho Macho Man. Why is this horse in here? Um... He's been around. He's got some earnings, of course, because he's, um, I mean, I don't know how much he's running fifth and sixth in those races to second half, but he was 30 to 1 they got on morning odds. I'm sure he's going to be much more than that. A uh, couple of decent workouts. That's all you could say for this horse, honestly. I think he's going to be out front. Um,
hasn't done much lately. The last race out was at Gulfstream Park. Uh, optional claimer, a mile and 137A. Yeah, it's not bad, but hey, it, you're going into the Belmont Stakes with that. It should be illegal for the horse like that to be in here, uh, I, I think. Um, but that, that's the way we have it. Um, number six, Forte. Five to two morning odds. It's probably fair. Um, he might drop below two to one. Uh, a lot of people like him. Two-year-old champ coming off a five-race win streak. Hopeful. Breeders' Cup Futurity. Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Fountain of Youth. Florida Derby. Scratching the Kentucky Derby. Um, so looking to continue his win streak. Uh, I read Ortiz Jr. riding him. We know about him. Todd Fletcher is the, the, the trainer. Uh, horses out of violence. A Medallia Doro horse. Uh, grandfather's uh, mother's side is blamed. I mean, you you could say there's questions on the mile and a, on a mile and a half on that, maybe. Um, coming off a decent workout, 59 second for using a one minute breathing before that. Um, he's he's favored for a reason. He's just gonna have to prove it. I really wish he would have run the Kentucky Derby. Really wanted to see what he was gonna do against tougher competition. He only has got all these great wins. Um, he's missed facing a lot of these horses. I like would like to see him run against. Uh, Angel of Empire being one of them, the eight. Um, so we're going to get the chance to see that now. Uh, tap it trice. He's going to get the face off against as well. I mean, so we, you know, here we go. I would much. I would have liked to see it at a mile and a quarter. Um, would have liked to see him face some of these other horses a mile and eight. But here we go at the mile and a half, where the distance is really a big deal in this one. So he's going to have to have the distance to be able to get there. Don't know if he's going to have it. We'll see. We'll see. He's got the jockey to do it, to get it done. Two wins in this race, just like Johnny V. Win with Mo Donegal last year and a win a couple years back for Creator. I ride Ortiz Jr. Um, and Pleasure, Todd Pleasher. Four wins in this one. He was kind of going back and forth with Baffert. Uh, he's got four wins up. Uh, four wins going for number five in this one. Baffert's got three. Um... Guys work cut out for him though. I don't think he's got an easy win. Number seven, hit show. Candy ride horse. His grandfather on his mother's side. Guess who? Tap it. Um, ten to one on this one. Manny Franco. <coughs> <coughs> Manny Franco did not win the Belmont Stakes. The record books says that Manny Franco won the Belmont Stakes. He did not win the Belmont Stakes. He won a mile and an eighth race at Belmont Park, which for all intents and purposes, they should have just called it the wood. Um, it was a great win, nothing to take that away from him on uh, uh, Tis the Law, but that was a mile and eight, this is a mile and a half, not the same thing. Um, Brad Cox horse, uh, now this horse I didn't think had the speed to really get it done in the Derby. He didn't have the speed to get it done in the Derby, however, I was impressed. He rode really close to that um, that fast pace in the Derby. He was in it the whole time. And he's coming off a few wins, um, coming into this, or, or, or a couple wins before finishing second in the Wood. I wanted an optional claimer at Gulfstream and, and the Withers. Um, so he's uh, now going to. Um, oh, sorry, in that Derby. Rode fast that, uh, close that fast pace, uh, finished fifth. Uh, so he was in it the whole time. Uh, really was probably too close to the pace. Uh, probably would have finished a lot better, I think, if he was um, a little bit off of it. But uh, I was impressed with the horse despite the fifth place finish. He, he like I said, he did better than I thought he was going to do. Uh, so, um, do I like him a bit more in this one? I guess you could probably say that. Manny Franco, I don't really have any faith in him in a mile and a half. I'm sorry I don't. That's the jockey's race. I mean, to win in a mile and a half. I mean, not just the jockey. You got a horse, too. Got a horse. Great jockey. Horse can't run that far. At least not at competitive speed. It's not going to win. Um, I like his show's toughness. Uh, don't know if Manny, Manny Franco is going to have enough to get him done. I guess he might want, might want to take that chance. I don't know. Maybe. Um... Races like this, though, it's tough for me to go with Manny Franco. 
Number eight, Angel of Empire, seven to two, Flavian Pratt, another Brad Cox horse. This one right next to the Brad Cox horse hit show. Third in the Kentucky Derby, so much better in this one. I mean, he's kind of like hit show, but better. Won the Arkansas, won the Risen Star. I really like this horse. He looks strong in that Arkansas. So, but, I mean, sometimes that's just because you're running against slower horses and you look really strong because you beat up some horses that weren't as fast. Not that impressive of a time. I wanted to see what he'd do in the Derby. He did run a good race. Um, third, uh, one length off of Mage. It was a good race. I mean, and, and honestly, going out of it, um, I was like, you know, I really like Angel and Empire to win the, the Belmont. However, I had to stop and say, wait a second, you don't do that because you don't pick winners of races until you know who's running in the race. Um, it's a lot of, lot of variables. Weather. I do like this horse, though. I do like this horse. A um, couple of 59-second breathing workouts coming into it. Shows he's in good shape. 7-2, to two, probably coming down. I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised if he takes over as a favorite. He did go off as a favorite in the Kentucky Derby after Forte was scratched. A lot of people are still going to like him based on that strong finish in the Kentucky Derby. And Mage isn't here, so you can't bet on him. Um, and neither is the second place uh, 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 two fills. Um, another strong performance. Um, would have liked to see him back in here, but we'll see. Everything you like about Angel of Empire, honestly, when you look at him on paper, he probably should be the favorite. Number nine, Red Route One, a, another gun runner horse. Um, and who's his grandfather? On his mother's side, Tappet. <clears throat> so with grandfathers like Tappet and Candy Ride, you gotta like the horse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Joel Rosario riding this one, Stephen Athmuse and trading him, training him. Uh, everything you like to see as far as the personnel and breeding um, uh, charts. Uh, 15 to 1 in the morning odds for a reason, though. Fourth in the Preakness. Uh, you got to win in this um, bathhouse row. Uh, sixth in the Arkansas uh, Derby um, behind Angel Empire. He's not up to snuff. Don't really think he had the speed. Fourth in the Preakness, like I said. Um, that wasn't a blazingly fast race, so I mean... He ran about as fast as he probably should have in that. I don't expect much more of him out of this. Um, Rosario's riding him, expect him to be competitive. Uh, but like I said, the Belmont, you got to have a horse that can run that far. I don't know if he's got it. He's got it in the breeding, that's for, for sure. Um, I mean, as far as, as, as much as you can tell, there's not a whole lot of mile and a half breeding uh, to track out there. Um, but uh, yeah, no former Belmont winners. That I see um, in these short charts of, of the pedigree. So it, 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 anyway, uh, decent breeding. Like I said, I don't know if the horse is going to have the speed. Now, uh, we're not talking about that pace. I told you already. I think I, I think the five is going to take the lead. Um, I like him to be up front. Il Morocco, uh number four, right behind him. I think Johnny V is going to rate National Treasure right in there. Probably going to be. I say forty-seven seconds. I think this um, uh, Manessis is going to get in there. This Marcos Manessis get in there. She's going to want to have the lead. Uh, he's not going to want to go too. I mean, maybe he just. I don't think he's going to go 51. I think he tries to go 51 or something like that. 50. I think Johnny V takes the lead um, with National Treasure. Uh, but I, I think it's probably going to be around 47. I think uh, Johnny V's probably going to move, put the pressure on the kid before he wants because Johnny V's going to rate the race. Um, everybody else I kind of got coming off the pace. When it comes down to it, um, you know what it is. It's all about the jockeys. We got Irad Ortiz Jr., we got Flavian Crab, we got Joel Rosario, we got Jose Ortiz, we got Luis Saez, we got Javier Castellano back there. They're going to make a move. They're going to bring the horses. Um, pretty equal talent in my opinion, except for Irad Ortiz. Uh, so I got Forte definitely uh, coming in there, making the move. However, I do have him losing. I have him getting beat by the three, Archangelo. I'm going with the three, Archangelo. That's not really a long shot at eight to one in morning on odds. He's 
Good chance he could be long, though, by the time this race comes up. But I'm going with Art Angelo for the win. I'm not going with Angel Empire. I'm not going with, uh, um, uh, Forte. Um, it's a chance Angel of Empire, I think, could get in there for second. I think he could get in there for the win. He scares me the most. I just haven't seen it, to tell you the truth. He's got the good races, but even in the Kentucky Derby, the numbers-wise, he still pretty much ran just as fast as you expected him to. I think Forte's probably a touch faster. Coming off of five straight wins, he really hasn't been stretched out. I think he's a little bit faster. And uh, I think Archangelo, he's coming off um, this uh, this this, this uh, race that he ran here at Gulfstream, this maiden special league. <coughs> Pardon me. Mile 134. Um... You gotta like that. Um, you gotta like that mile one thirty four or uh, one thirty four in in uh, in, in, in down here in South Florida. Uh, then he goes up, gets the win in the Peter Pan. I like it. I like it. He likes the jockey. Two wins in a row. I'm going with three in a row. Another Peter Pan winner. I'm saying is taking it. I'm going with Arc Angelo for the win. So that's Arc Angelo number one, number six Forte. I'm going second. Number eight, Angel of Empire. I got him in there running third again. And fourth, Tapatrice, the two. Uh, Tapatrice, the least size, Todd Fletcher. So that's what I got. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, I'm watching out for the scratches. Hopefully we have a clean race, no scratches. Everybody comes out of the gate. Nice, clean, starts and finishes the race. Healthy and happy. But I'm going with Archangelo for the win.